everybody, I'm back. My name is Venu Venkatesh and uh, we're going to start lecture 32, which is part 2 of Idioms and Phrases. So uh, this is part of the ongoing English education for Sai education group. So uh, I say we start. All right, so let's start. To kick the bucket, what do you mean by to kick the bucket? Is it to start an account, to start a serious journey, to die? To start agricultural activity or none of these in fact kick the bucket means to die so the answer is C I know you may be thinking how I know this well it's only through experience I, as I always say please read good books read newspapers online many of them are free Times of India try India today economic times and so on go through lists of idioms and phrases that you may find on Google make a list and then study all right on the cards what do you mean by on the cards on the cards means something which is uh, likely to happen okay so let's see if that option is there a winner no accept defeat no play the cards never not at all likely to happen yes none of these e is not an option so the right answer is d you have to memorize these there's no other way around it cut no ice with me what does it what do you mean by cut no ice does it mean had no influence on me or does it mean did it did not hurt me or did not benefit me or did not make me proud none of these in fact cut the ice with me uh, cut no ice with me sorry means had no influence on me for example you can say that uh, the strike by the labor union cut no ice on the government which means the gov government had it had no effect on the government next make bricks without straw what does that mean is it cheat or is it do the right thing or do the possible make hollow bricks or none of these it is in fact cheat make bricks without straw means uh, it is to cheat okay straw means what what is straw straw is like a part of hay right so uh, what it means is you're trying to make something out of something very small uh, uh, such as straw so that means you are trying to cheat. That is the understanding or the meaning. You just have to memorize these. There is no other way around it. Okay, A man of straw. Does it mean a man of no substance or a very active person, worthy fellow, unreasonable person or none of these? The answer is a man of no substance. Because straw is meant to be something very, uh, which has very little use. So a man of straw means a person with hollow substance or no substance. All right next to chew the cud what do you mean by that to be very annoyed no to think deeply maybe to eat humble food no to start doing something new no none of these no it is actually d to think deeply chew the cud means to think very deeply or ponder over something next black sheep black sheep means a person who is like uh, below standard you know uh, he is not part of the uh, herd. See, a sheep herd is generally comprised of white sheep, right? So, what is a black sheep? Is a person who is an odd man out and who is not up to the mark compared to the others. He is like a. He is considered to be a loser, right? So, who? So, what is the right option? A costly item? No. A dark, shiny object? No. An unworthy person in a family or a group? Yes. A funny man? No. None of these? No. It is C. An unworthy person in a family or a group. Blue collar jobs. Now, manual jobs are generally referred to as blue collar jobs. Manual jobs means like construction work, uh, workers, cleaners, like that. So, manual laborers, yes, that is the right answer. In fact, you can see A is the right answer. Professional workers are called white collar, uh, white collar workers or white collar job holders. Job by women are called pink collar uh, job holders. Jobs related to protection of environment are called green collar job workers. E, none of these doesn't apply. So the right answer is A, manual laborers. Gift of the gap. Gift of the gap means a person who is talented in speaking. So that answer is C. Lucky is not the right answer. Big surprise, no. Honest person, no. E, none of these, no. So it is C, a talent for speaking. They say people, you know, who pe people who compare events and shows on TV, they are supposed to have a gift of the gap. Heart and soul. Heart and soul is means somebody who takes things very seriously and sincerely and very, very honestly. So it looks like yes, A is the right answer. Honestly, 
it is correct but heart and soul means something more than being just honest like very very honest all right verily means very tired very casually no none of these no so the right answer is a very seriously and sincerely to cry wolf remember there's a story in english literature that a person who cried wolf means he was trying to fool people right he cried wolf but there was no wolf so to cry wolf means to basically raise a false alarm to uh, cry when there's no reason to cry somebody it's done with a reason to fool people so let's look at the options to listen eagerly no to give false alarm yes to turn pale no to keep off starvation no none of these no so it is b to give false alarm above board above board means to be very honest in any business deal which is uh, option b so none of the other options are right so above board means to be very honest in business dealings last one to smell a right rat to smell a rat means to smell something foul or to smell something fishy means there is something going on which is not appearing but you know that but you feel that there is something going on in the background right so to see signs of plague ec epidemic no to get bad smell of a bad dead rat no to suspect foul dealings correct so right answer is option c to be in a bad mood d no e none of these so it is c to suspect foul dealings right means you feel that there is something uh, fishy going on something uh, unfair going on in the background right i got these uh, uh, examples from this particular link so if you have if you want you can check out this link and listen to the explanation there as well so i urge you to practice more and more so that you are familiar with more and more idioms and phrases and i wish you all the best and see you next time bye bye